Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily update now uh, on the internet computer and ICP. Um, wanted to do a daily update because yesterday I was wrong. All right. What uh, what happened or at least my my um, my recollection of, of what happened. And I think most of you will disagree with me on that because the, the internet computer uh, community is quite stubborn. Uh, but what happens is that the market circumstances changed, right? Bitcoin became rather bullish right here. It got a bullish breakout later in the morning uh, and ICP followed that. And what I have told you in the past is that ICP itself, look, internet computer is still doing fine. I mean, if we if, if we look at the, the total value locked, for example, what you'll see is that that's doing great. Uh, and it's it's going to try to get n new new highs right here. Uh, not sure if that's going to work, but still, fundamentally, internet computer is doing fine. And I've always told you that. Uh, but yesterday, the, the situation was was way, way more bleak, all right? Because yesterday, what you saw is that we were practically only losing momentum, practically until I made the video. Then it started increasing, uh, which you can see right, uh, right here. Here it started increasing in the morning. Um, and, um, and we had a significant bearish breakout below this low. Now, what happens is that the bullish momentum from the markets caused enough bullish momentum for ICP, which is more reactive to that because ICP itself is still relatively strong, caused, this to, caused it to reclaim 11.5, which was the most significant support level. And from there and, and from, uh, fr from that moment, we've been relatively strong. We, we've gone up to this resistance level around $14. Um, I, I would call... I would call ICP bullish on the on the short term. If I zoom out a bit, I still think it's I still think it's um, it's it's consolidating. I mean, if you look at the open interest right now, it's around um, it's around 76, 75 million, which is great. But if you compare that to the volume to the open interest it had, even though we were in an over leveraged market, um, it's it's not enough. I, I don't think it's enough to to really rally up to our price targets at seventeen point five. Now, at some point of time, and I've always said this, I'm pretty bullish on ICP. So I still think 17 and 17.5 and then eventually 20. And then we'll just see level per level. I still think we can reach that. But at this moment, the, the level ICP needs to break above is this level between 14 and ultimately 15. But let's say 14 and 14.5 is enough to break through. That's the level we need to break. And if you want to break a, a strong level like that, which we haven't even tes tested uh, the, the whole way, we've not gone up to 14.5, but you need this momentum. And momentum is here, but momentum has also been kind of stalling since yesterday evening. All right. So I would just keep my eyes on this. I mean, if this, stop, uh, if that's, if, if this starts increasing again, or alternatively, uh, if you don't know how to look up open interest, if the volume start soaring again, like for example, up to 700 million, then a breakout is possible. But that's not the situation right now. And that's the difficult part with these videos. And that's also what we saw yesterday. I turned bullish on ICP yesterday pretty quickly. Uh, once I saw that we broke 11.5, I was bullish again. Um, but, but with these videos, I mean, at this moment, I would say we'll just consolidate here uh, in, the, in this level, maybe with a spike up to 14.5 first. We'll just consolidate at in, in this level and then we're very much reliant on what Bitcoin does, uh, which is, again, very reliant on what uh, happens with the ETF. I would say that's most likely. But like I said, keep an eye on that volume, because if the volume stops, uh, starts increasing, then there's a chance that ICP just breaks out today and rallies up to, uh, to 17 and 17.5. And, um, and you can bet that I'll be in that trade. All right. Because even though you might consider me being bearish on ICP right now, I've never shorted ICP. I've longed ICP in the past. I've made some money with that. But um, yeah, I, I do trade it and I do buy it. Even though, uh, even though at some points of time I'm a little bit bearish, so I hope you can forgive me. But those are my thoughts for now. If you do have any, uh, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. There you can also find more info on my premium and signals group, uh, where, for example, we also entered a trade on ICP right here, around ten dollars. Uh, so check that out if it sounds interesting. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.